I'm working on a 2010 Infiniti G37 sedan. I've got the BCM wiring harness, I mean wiring diagram up, and I'm just gonna kind of see. I've got all my powers highlighted. Um, let me. I got my ground, so I've got my ground highlighted. Powers highlighted. There, there, and there. Now I'm not so worried about this one currently because. This has to have the ignition relay energized, which is going to require the key on. These three are hot at all. These three here are hot at all times. Um. So I went and found the body control module physical values. Uh, basically, just pin out and connector views, as you can see up here at the top. Uh, then printed out page one of this, so that's really all I need. I mean, it's got all of this. It tells you what each one does, so I can go through here for reference and see what everything's supposed to have on it. We've even got some, uh, you know, some some uh, waveforms here that we can use for reference. But right now, those are going to be your those are going to be your outputs. So I'm not going to worry about that stuff right now. Anyway, so right now I'm just going through. I've got that one page printed out so I'll have the... So that I'll have the... Uh, and we've got a bunch of codes. I'm just trying to confirm we got all our powers and grounds on the VCM. So... So I've already... Uh, pin 1 of connector M... 118. I don't know if you can see that. Anyway, that's pin 118. I just went ahead and uh, circled it. That's going to be a hot. Pin 11 is going to be a hot in, in connector M119. Pin 13 is going to be a ground. Then we're going to go back up here. Trace out our wiring diagram again. Since I don't, since my key can't come on, I'm I can't get this one. I'm going to put it on there anyway with a question mark, just so I know that that's supposed to be a hot on uh, pin 123 of connector M122. So let's go ahead and do that since I've already scoped it out. Pin 123, and that's connector one. 22. So 120 M122, and we're looking for what was it? It was uh 123 right there. Ignition. And so we're. Alright, so one, 123, right? Yep, 123. So we're going to come down here and... Uh, one, wait a minute. I apologize. 123. That's connector M123. So M123, pin 123, right? Yes. So we're going to circle that and put a plus beside it. Dang, that's blurry, isn't it? I do apologize. This camera sucks. Well, the paper isn't very helpful. There we go, that's better. Alright. So that's a hot. I mean, that's the one I'm going to put a question mark because it's the... I'm just going to put ignition. So I know that I can't use that right now. This car has been through the ringer. 
I'm trying to bring it back to life. Young boy is very passionate about this car. Uh, I should have turned it down. It's been to a bunch of different places and supposedly to the dealer where it got a dash harness. And uh, multiple other things have been done to this car. So uh, now we're going to go up here to um, this one here. Oops, I'm going to highlight it again. And we're looking at pin 116. One sixteen on M one twenty three. We'll circle that. We'll put a plus. So one, two, three, four, five, and then six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So we're gonna Look for that one, for that hot. The connectors are not numbered that I can see with my old eyes. So I've got that one and we've got pin 11 on 119. Did I already get it? And I did. So 11 and 13 which is ground and I got that so now so we got we're gonna worry about this positive this positive that negative and for now we'll see I think I have already checked that power I know that's got that's there but anyway we're gonna go over here now <sighs> I don't want to take this connector view we're going to put our light on. I right, got my test light in place. So here is a connector M118. This black one here is 118. And in the orientation that we have it, I'm on the module ground down there into one of the lower kick panel and that does indeed have power and all the others have power of course it wouldn't have it these are going to send out well that one does got power it's supposed to be sending out to the window i think but i don't know about that i think that's a power out that's an output this is going to be your input uh then we're going to go We're not going here. We are going here. No, we're not going there either. We're going to go over to 123. Alright, so 123. And we're going to need to have it in this orientation where it's... It's going to make it difficult. So, we're upside down, but I should be able to figure that out. I should have wrote the colors down. Um, okay, there is numbers on these. Uh, can't seem to go 21, 20. Um, hold on. I'm just doing this on my fault. That's crazy how they just continue on with the numbers. Don't have numbers. Anyway, we're gonna be okay with that. I just gotta. We're gonna be on this side. So. So we're looking for um the one on the lower, the fifth one up. Let's see. Five is this blue one. Apparently, it's supposed to be hot. 
it's hot. So if I unplug this, it should still be hot. Then that's five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That red one there is the other ignition. That's the ignition. And I'm not going to get anything from this ignition. I'm not getting anything from the ignition switch. I don't know what I do. So we're, I'm isolating this power here to the ignition speed. I've got to have that. That's the wake up. That should be wake up. I mean, that should be power to tell it to basically wake the car up. Now, our other power is going to be up on this connector. We're looking at 11 on this side, which should be the first one, and we have power there. That means two. Three, that should be a ground. Um, That's the ground right there. Backwards. What the hell? That looks like it's in the wrong place. Because that's position. No, no, no. Hold up. Alright, so I'm looking at the connector wrong. So hot and ground. That's cool. I got it. I do have some other ones. I think it was this one, which was hot also for some reason. But this is your input power feed. Alright, so we have all but one. That's the ignition power. So now we need to track down why that's not cutting on. Do we have a bad ignition switch? Let's see. On to the next thing. I can't call that a bad BCM without an ignition feed there. Because the ignition, the, bat, the BCM partially works. It locks, I can lock the doors. I can, uh, I think I, I think I'm going to use this. I don't know about the signals. Let me see if the signals work. I know the hazards work. But, no signals right now, I can't, can't get nothing on, other than hazards is all I got. So I need to get access to the ignition switch. So I'm just going to pull this back off. And then we're going to figure out what feeds the ignition switch power. And go trace that down. So I'll add to this video. I'll sew it up later. And uh, we'll keep continuing on.